Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I wanted to do a video on reviewing two sets of alcohol markers. One brand is from Hobby Lobby and one is from Michaels. Michaels is the Artist Loft brand, and then Master's Touch is the Hobby Lobby's brand, which happens to be a brand new thing for Hobby Lobby was the Master Markers, and I saw that walking around, and they're actually really nice. So as you can see, they have a chisel tip, and they also have a brush tip as well. And I mean, they look like your typical set of alcohol-based markers, and they look very similar to the Artist Loft alcohol-based markers from Michaels. So what I did was I went ahead and I grabbed the Master Markers, Master, master Touch Markers from Hobby Lobby, and I swatched them all out. Now what I wanted to do with both sets of markers was I wanted to get two different sets. I wanted to get this really pretty purple pink set from the Master Markers and as you can see I'm using like both tips right now to swatch these out and I really like the names and I like that the names are kind of matching up with the actual colors from these markers and they actually have a really overall good like cover off <laughs> if that makes sense that you see how flawless they all look so it's good alcohol based marker since they actually blend in with each other now let's take a look at the artist loft michaels alcohol based markers you see we've got the thing about the master's touch and the artist loft brush tips is i noticed that they're different but we still have that chisel and the brush tip ends and i went ahead and swatched these out as well next to each other and as you can see, got two different sets. I've got like a blue, greenish, blue-green set, and then I've got the purple set. So that way we could be able to tell what's Master Markers and what is Artist Loft. Now when I was talking about the overall cover, cover all, <laughs> just the overall look, you know sometimes with alcohol-based markers, I did see this a couple of times with not like Ohuhu markers, but other off-brand um, Amazon alcohol based markers that you can buy on there sometimes they don't cover as well but I was noticing through the artist loft and the master's touch that they both did an overall like they blended well with each other and I think that's just the amount of alcohol that's based in each pen for what I was drawing <laughs> with these awesome examples of master markers and artist loft markers I went ahead and I picked some simplicity magazines if you ever want to actually have fun and just draw old amazing drawings that have already been created the simplicity pattern magazines i would totally recommend that you guys would draw those it's a lot of fun because those designs and the way they drew their characters are so amazing and it's just it's really cool because you could just tell that there is these certain artists that drew you could tell who was who and you know who drew the kids who drew the women who drew the men i just I love the simplicity magazines and it just reminds me of like 1950s 1920s i love it it's a great drawing exercise so that's what i did i picked out i don't know what exactly my plan was i didn't know if this was her daughter or if this was her growing up into herself but i have an older woman and then i have a little girl so i thought maybe this could be her as a little girl to show that she has never changed and she goes crazy but you'll see in the in a while how crazy their skin and their hair gets so i thought oh i guess she can't i guess they can be sisters or something let's make them sisters <laughs> And in case you're wondering what kind of liners I'm using with these typical alcohol-based markers, they are the Copic liners. You see right there, the multi-liners that come in like a package of four. And they're just, you know, standard black Copic multi-liners. It's like a 03, uh, 0, 0, 03, and a 0, 1, and a 0, 0, 05. So they're very, very, one's very super tiny for fine, fine lining. And then it, uh, the 03 is like a comfortable, it's a little bit bigger than um, a 01, which is my go-to liner. All right, so I went ahead and I did the, let's say, so what they are sisters, so let's do older sisters. And I wanted to do like they were springy in a way. Uh, she's gonna look very springy, but the little sister is not going to look so springy. So the thing about the master markers, I really, really like the master markers because I liked how I was doing mostly I was just going around and I was trying to make everything one color so as I was going around and making everything one color as I went back to layer on top of it 
it really layered well. Now, if you're wondering what kind of paper I'm using too, this is actually in my Illo sketchbook. So that's the kind of paper I'm using. It's a really heavy paper, so it's very similar to like a Strathmore Bristol board, a smooth Bristol board. But you can even see now on the top of her dress how it's starting to blend together and really layer and look really nice. And the colors are extremely, extremely vi uh, violent. <laughs> They're very vibrant. They are not violent. They're violent with awesome color. But I really liked how even I used the darker color on her little flower. I was trying to make flowers on her little I don't know what that's called like a cow cape whatever it's part of the simplicity design <laughs> but I was trying to make like little flowers pattern going on and it was kind of working kind of not working so that's what I was going for but I really like and you'll see that I start to blend all the pinks on her dress and they really really looked good and I was going for leaving some open highlighted spaces you can see that i did it on her little apron part of her dress it's not an apron it's just like a skirt on top of a skirt you can totally tell but you can see how the pinks really blend in together and they complement each other obviously they're pinks but still they're just blending in very well and I really like how the master markers were working out and you can see I'll start layering a little bit more, especially on her hair and her hat. I really, really, really like the master markers. I wasn't expecting that. So <laughs> when I saw that the master markers were available, I was like, oh, wow, well, I didn't know that these even existed. And then they told me, uh, no, they're new. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to try these. <laughs> and, they're, and they did not disappoint. I really like them. Now we get over to the Artist Loft brand, which is Michael's alcohol-based markers brand. Now we've known Artist Loft. I've seen tons and tons of kids have these in my classes or anywhere walking around. They're really nice markers and they've been around for a while now. I like the brush tips on the Artist Loft markers. I really, really like that. I don't know what it is because the Master Touch markers brush tip is very similar to a Copic marker, but when I'm using the Artist Loft brush tip end, I really like it for some reason. I don't know if it's just because it's not as intimidating and it goes inside to the actual body of the marker a little bit more and it's a little bit more usable. It's just like it bends a bit more because I don't know. I don't know what the engineering is on these markers, but I really enjoy using these brush tip markers. Now I did not use the chisel tips at all on either of these girls on the markers. I've just, I've never been an amazing fan of chisel tips and I'm not that awesome with them. If I do overall big backgrounds, then yes, I do use chisel tips. Now for blending and piling, layering, and layering, layering layers with the Artist Loft markers, I definitely, they were really good at that. And I loved how, look how fine of lines I'm getting on these little dresses. And you'll see I'll start to use the lighter blue that I used on her skin to start adding more and more shadows to her dress. And that's what I like. They really did blend in with each other. And that's always something I'm always a little bit wary about with any kind of type of alcohol markers is if... You know, once you, if there's so much alcohol in the markers, once you start to blend a lighter color on top of a darker color, is it going to completely minimize that darker color altogether and get rid of what was once there just because of the amount of alcohol in the markers? But that's what I did not find with either type of these markers. Now, I'm guessing if you're wondering, maybe Copic markers are getting a little too expensive for you and you want to go to a cheaper brand of markers. Now both of these markers are great alternatives if you think that, oh I don't know if I want to do a hoo markers or do an off-brand marker brand on Amazon. I actually want to see and touch and try right away. I want to go to the stores. I want to go to either Hobby Lobby or Michaels and grab a brand off the shelf and go and use them right away. I just want to start with them. I would highly recommend out of the two of these, I'm going to go ahead and pick one brand that I like the most. I think that both brands are definitely worthy of you buying them, but I would pick Master Markers over the Artist Loft Markers. I don't know, I really like both of them. I love the Artist Loft paintbrush tip, but I just feel like with the Master Markers, I felt like 
Look how well they were blending in together. Both markers, yes, they definitely blend well, but I don't know, there was just something about Master Markers I loved more. I like both of them, but if you were going to ask me right away, Priscilla, which one would you pick? And I would say, Master Markers. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying that is because here is a great alternative. Master Markers, like the Master's Touch brand at Hobby Lobby, goes on sale every other week at 50% off. So. That's what I really, 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 really like about that. And I mean, I'm a huge fan of that saving money. And of course you always have um, Michael's 40% off or if like Hobby Lobby has the 40% off too. But yes, the options are endless. Well, two brands at least. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hey, if this answers your questions about grabbing some alcohol-based markers and where to grab them from, you have two stores you can grab them from. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.